Hey you guys, it's Bree. I wanted to give you all an update on the straw flower and the snapdragon seeds that we started in our little Valentine's Day box here. And as you can see, we did get a pretty decent germination. So these over here on this side are the apple blossom snapdragons. And these over here are the straw flowers. I forgot what kind they were, but I'll put it up on the screen. And you can see there is quite a few down in there, but the snapdragons are very, very leggy. I didn't have them in here on the shelf underneath this really good light. So at first, so I just put them in here last night when my husband set the light up for me. So I don't know if these are going to fix themselves or if I ruined these, I don't know. But fingers crossed, hopefully they'll be okay. Now, if you look at some of the straw flowers, it's kind of hard to tell, but they're actually getting ready to grow their first set of true leaves. So that's pretty exciting. I don't see that on any of the snapdragons. They're just so tall and scrawny. Now I have been running my fingers across them to try to make them a little bit better. I do want to get like a little clip-on fan to hook right here to be able to blow across all the seedlings that I have. But there's not a fan in this room, unfortunately. So I'll have to get a clip-on ones, and it'll be easy just to clip it right onto the shelf right here. But right now, I just have this sitting on this box right here. So you can see how far away from the light that it is. Unfortunately, in the other thing I had them originally set up in, they were probably all the way down here that far away from a kind of a crappy light. So, I don't know. Hopefully those will be okay. Let me know if you have any advice on what I can do to fix the snapdragons or if they are a lost cause or what. But at least the straw flowers look pretty decent. So, fingers crossed, you know, I feel a little bit more confident about those. But let me know down in the comments what can I do to fix these leggy seedlings if there is a fix because um, I would really like to have some apple blossom snapdragons. Now I may still try to direct sow some as well but I know most people start these inside before the last frost date so that's why I tried them like this. So that's it. I just want to give you all a quick update on that. Make sure you all check out my two most recent videos. I have my February garden tour coming out. And then I also have a video showing all these seeds over here next to me that we just started together as well. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. We'll see you all in the next video.